Now that looks like a lot of fun. Looks like it'll take me years to do it. What is it and what's involved in the training? Well, it quite possibly could take you years. I want to be completely honest with you because a skill of that high level is going to be something that you're not going to be able to just jump into. Basically what we're doing here is we're showing different styles of hand balance training. So different styles of how well you can maintain your balance on just your hands, which is an incredible feat of skill and strength. Something like that may actually take you a year, two years, even longer. It really depends on how much you're willing to put into it. And uh, why are you encouraging that type of training? So, multiple reasons. One of them definitely is that I am a big advocate of acquiring skill. So, the more time that we spend in our bodies, I feel like you should know how it works and how to use it even better. So, I love the idea that we need to still continue to acquire skill over time and learn our bodies better. So, whenever you're on your hands, your body has to communicate at a completely different level. Your hands are sending receiving information about your place in space, then your all your muscles on your front, back, side, lateral, transverse, everything has to speak to each other and communicate to maintain that type of position. So we're looking at how well your body communicates for a very high skill exercise. Now what, what's involved in this type of training? Like what do you do first and how many months, you know, do you have to stand on your hands against the wall, uh, get used to the gravity going to your brain, yeah. and then six months later you can let go of that? Or Well, we always, we always have to regress to where to the point to where you become successful. So if you lack shoulder stability or mobility, flexibility, then we may need to regress you very far to where maybe you're just placing your hands on an object you're trying to learn how to create more distance with your arm towards the sky, closing this space between your shoulder and your ear. So this allows us to open up the shoulder position. So maybe you're just doing that with your hands on an object, then over time you're beginning to bring your hips higher and higher while still keeping your feet on the floor or on an object. After that, we may use a wall. We may put your back to the wall first, and we may turn you around and put your stomach to the wall. Then after that, we'll start looking at freestanding balance points. And again, that may take over a year, maybe even longer. But at the end of the day, it's probably worth the challenge. Well, that's the thing. It's not only about the handstands. It's literally about the journey there. So it's about every single progression and every single landmark that you have to hit and overcome through the entire journey. Now, who created this concept? I did. So I'm the creator of global body weight training. I'm not the creator of handstands, obviously. They've been around forever. Uh, but I did create global body weight training, which is a company designed solely on teaching you how to use your own body, your own vessel for higher performance. What inspired you to, to create that in the first place, and what is, type of training do you have to do this? So I started in the training industry when I was 16 years old, and um, excuse me, 18 years old, I've been training my entire life, and so when I was 18, I really obsessively started trying different styles of workouts, different styles and disciplines. So I really got into Olympic lifts, really got into kettlebell training, really got into sports performance, became a medical exercise specialist, and eventually I was lifting a lot of weights, and I just I was a lot bigger and I didn't feel good in my body and I felt like I needed a change. So I got into bodyweight discipline. So I got into gymnastics, got into parkour, got into breakdancing, got into to, uh, circus arts, hand balancing. And uh, I've been pretty much strictly bodyweight for uh, almost five years. And so it's all been about learning how this thing works. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun and uh, very, I like the way the rhythm is and maintaining that certain balance. Um, what is animal flow, by the way? You've got that on your t-shirts. Yeah, so think about if, if global body weight training is more about how to learn to do these kind of body weight feats of strength or, or acquiring skill, animal flow is more of our movement program. So it's literally how well can you move with your hands and feet on the floor. So how well does your body communicate, allowing your shoulders to communicate to your hips through your spine? We do mimic animals, but that's only one component of the animal flow. We say we mimic animals to improve the function of the human animal. So that's part of animal flow. The flow component is literally that transfer of energy. So how well you can go from one movement to the next with a very seamless, fluid process. What kind of movements are they and what are they for? So we use the ABCs of animal movement. So like ape, beast, crab, and each one of those has a very different goal in mind. So whether it's postural distortions, whether it's how the shoulders communicate, uh, or maybe it's metabolic conditioning. Maybe we're just conditioning for our cardio 
respiratory. So there's multiple ways we can use it. Well, for the animal, not all of us. Uh, and those who want to better balance through this hand balancing technique. Uh, more information, what's your contact info? So, globalbodyweighttraining.com. You can find more information about exercise using just your body weight. Animalflow.com. You can find more about the integrated movement part of the discipline. Great. And your name is? Mike Fitch. Thank you.